Happy Tuesday, Pigtopia! This week, our comment of the week comes to us from Jennifer, who commented on the tribute we made for Vanna, saying, That bond you created with Vanna is so sweet and special. Thank you for sharing these precious moments. Vanna even enjoyed the snow! That is great! Happy birthday to Vanna, your legend lives on. Jennifer, we want to thank you so much for your kind words, and to everyone who has watched Vanna's tribute video and commented on it, your words mean so much to us. I never thought it would take off the way that it has, but it's amazing to see everyone appreciating Vanna so much. If you haven't watched it yet, there's a link on this screen here. So I recently got an email from my vet informing me that it was Senior Pets Month for the month of August. Surprise, I had no idea. If you did know a thousand extra piggy points for you, that means you are more on top of made-up holidays than I am. In the true spirit of this holiday, however, I thought it would be fun for us to talk about how to care for senior guinea pigs. Of course, in order to have this conversation, we do need to start at the very beginning and define what exactly makes a senior guinea pig. Guinea pigs live on average from five to seven years, and most vets begin looking at them as older slash senior guinea pigs around four years of age. This is not a precise pinpoint mechanic. Mostly we just let the guinea pigs tell us based on when they start acting like a senior. Senior guinea pigs are pretty noticeable as the other guinea pigs will start deferring to them more at first, and then as they get older, the senior guinea pig will relinquish responsibilities in the herd and start lowering its self down rank. Senior guinea pigs, much like their human counterparts, are also fairly noticeable by their especial love of nap time. Once you've successfully identified your senior guinea pig, there are several things that you can do to make sure that their lives are the best that they can be. The number one most important thing you can do is probably your weekly health checks. Make sure you fully palpate your guinea pig's body. That's just a fancy way of saying squish it around and feel for any lumps or bumps. After doing that, make sure to check their teeth and jaw, their eyes, their ears, their paws, and even their little private parts for anything that seems out of the ordinary. You should also include a weekly weigh-in where you're watching to make sure that they aren't losing weight incredibly quickly. Anything between 50 and 100 grams of weight loss in a short amount of time should be immediately reported to your vet so you can take action. This is the easiest way to know if there's something wrong with your guinea pig. Your weekly health check probably will not be your guinea pig's most favorite part of the week. That's okay. There's a lot of things that we don't like to do ourselves, but we do it anyway because it's good for our health, and your guinea pig's health should be no exception. As your guinea pig gets older, it will likely lose body mass. This is just how guinea pigs do things. So this will make it harder for them to regulate their internal body temperature. Make sure that you are keeping them out of drafts and direct sunlight. Give them blankets when it's cold and things to cool them off. In this case, I use a freezy pack when it is hot. This is your responsibility. Make sure you take care of them. Make sure that you are also checking your guinea pig's eyes for their vision. The eyes will go milky if it's getting to be a little rough, and you want to check their joints. Guinea pigs are notorious for developing scurvy and osteoporosis due to their inability to produce vitamin C. While a lifetime of preventative maintenance is the best way to make sure your guinea pigs are okay, you can also supplement their diets as seniors with things like vitamin C and joint health supplement, and you can help them put on extra weight by giving them oat flakes. On the topic of healthy habits, please make sure you increase the frequency with which you clean a senior guinea pig's cage. Senior guinea pigs do tend to be more still and sleep a lot more frequently, so they will increase where they are preferring to urinate and poop, and this can cause health problems for them if they're constantly sitting in those spots. Bear in mind that if your guinea pig is having vision trouble, you won't want to change the layout of the cage. They need to know where everything is and they're relying on their memory for that. And if your guinea pig is having joint issues, you wanna make sure that their food and water is easily accessible so that they don't have to be stretching too much to get it. That would hurt them. Ultimately, your guinea pig's reaching seniordom is something to be celebrated, not feared. The responsibilities of a guinea pig owner does change as they get later into life, but they can have a perfectly happy and healthy life well past that average of five to seven years. In fact, the oldest guinea pig on record was over 11 years old. All these tips that I brought to you today come from the KV website, that's K-A-V-E-E. -E. They've sent out a really cool weekly newsletter that I get a lot of information from. I'm gonna pop a link to them on the screen. Make sure that you check them out. 
P.S. We are in no way sponsored by them. I just really like their stuff. What other things do you like to do for your senior guinea pigs? Drop a comment below so that we can all share in your happiness. In the meantime, be cute and we will catch you next time. Bye!